Hey everybody, it's me again, Christina. I haven't um, made a video diary in a few days because like you know, as you can tell by what I'm wearing, as I'm still in the hospital. I'd like to start off the video by telling you the time and the date. It is 9.31 p.m. and it's 10.17, 2010. Um, the, I think the last time I posted a video was right after my perm cath surgery. Uh, the surgery went fine. Uh, this is the leftovers. This is from the last perm cath where I had that the lining where they were doing dialysis and pulling blood and putting in medicine. Let me close up to it so you can see it. And as you can see, there's red marks right here that are marked all around my neck. It's also on my cheek as well. That's, um, this is all left from the tape residue from um, the uh, dressing that I had, which is exactly like this dressing here. Um, I want to let you know that everything is doing good. Is doing good. I've, I had dialysis for, I think, four to five days in a row. They were able to get all of that fluid off of me. Um, the one thing is that I found out is that I am now in liver failure. So um, if I run into the situation again at home with dialysis when my blood pressure goes too low and my heart rate goes too high, they won't be able to pull any fluid off. So when that time comes and then I have too much fluid on me, I'll have to come back to UAB Hospital, you know, for a couple of weeks and have dialysis done every day to get the fluid taken off. But, you know, really, other than that, that's the only option. The doctor, one of the doctors did actually tell me they thought that me going to a nocturnal hemodialysis unit would be better for me because that would be every day except for the weekend. And what it is is instead of me going home and sleeping in the bed, my comfy bed, I might add. I would go to a dialysis unit and sleep there for about six to eight hours and then go home. And it would be done overnight. And you know, your metabolism slows at night and stuff. And they would be able to do it at a slower pace. That way it wouldn't be on such, it wouldn't be such a, an ordeal on my heart for having a fast, short dialysis treatment like my hemodialysis is at home. The thing about that issue was, is the uh, nocturnal dialysis, there's no clinics like that where I live in Montgomery, Alabama. So Joe and I would have to pick up everything we do and we, we you know, that we have in Montgomery and we'd have to move to Birmingham. The only places that have them is Birmingham and, and Atlanta. But we would have to move to Birmingham because it's closer to UAB. I didn't want to do that unless it's the last case scenario, you know, say like if I was extremely ill but not ill enough to be in the hospital, then I would for sure, you know, move closer to uh, UAB. <clears throat> I'd like to show you, um, I, I want to tell, um, I want to thank my aunt, um, Teresa. She's from my dad's side of the family and she found out I was sick and in the hospital. She called me up and, um, she got my, obviously she asked my nurses for the address or somehow she got my address, you know, for where I'm at in the hospital. So uh, she got me uh, one of those edible arrangements you can see on TV. It's like instead of sending a, a bouquet of flowers, which heart transplant patients are, are not allowed to have flowers in their hospital rooms because it could carry bacteria and bugs and whatnot. So instead of sending me flowers, bless her little heart, she sent me one of those edible arrangements. Um, I will add some photos of that edible arrangement onto this video. I took some photos before and after I started eating on it. Just to tell you the truth, that thing was delicious. I wouldn't mind having another one. Uh, the, uh, veg, the, uh, the fruit on there was so good. It was nice, cool, soft fresh fruit and it was carved in different shapes and stuff and this unfortunately is the vice the vase as you can see it says edible arrangements 
that's the edible arrangement vase and um this is um actually all that's left of my edible arrangement <laughs> um Well, you anyway, know, I'm sorry, I kind of lost track of what I was doing. And I just realized I'm doing this video sideways, so I'll have to figure out how to flip it around so you guys can be able to see better. But if not, this video might have to wind up being sideways. Um, another thing is, is Joe was able to come down for the weekend and spend some time with me, which I, I, I absolutely adore him. I love him to death. And I want to thank him for taking off that Friday so he could come see me and spend some time with me. Another thing is, is um, I know you guys know, I say it every time at the end of my uh, video diaries about the Taylor Storch website and how you can go on there and register to be a donor. I would like to show you, I, I had contacted the Taylor Storch Foundation and tried to, you know, told them my story and everything that was going on. And this is actually what I got in the mail. And Joe bought this back with him to the hospital to show me, you know, because it came in the mail at home. And uh, this is what it is. It's a beautiful little pillow. And it's got, it's a blue pillow with little dots all over it. And it's got a pink cross heart, which is gorgeous, I believe. And in the middle, if you can see, it's a heart with Taylor's um, website initials. Taylor's it's TG for Taylor's Gift, which the website is uh, called Taylor'sGift.org. Also, not only did it come with that, it came with a little card, and the card says Taylor's Gift. Um, I believe the card has got her picture in it. Yes, it does. And this is Taylor Storch. This is the girl that the website is basically about. And then on the website, it shows how this girl passed away. And, you know, she donated her organs. And that came with a little card in the pillow. Um, I got bored, so one of the nurses come down one night, and they painted with me. So, and this is what I painted right here, this whole thing right here. And yes, I know, it looks like a child painted it, but there's a story. This right here, this little heart laying down, is the heart that I was born with. This pink heart in the middle is for my first heart transplant, symbolizes my first heart transplant. This heart on the outer side is the heart I've got now. So, and all I've had three hearts. So, that would be one, two, three hearts. And the little squiggly lines around the heart, that means symbolizes it pumping, you know, it being alive. And this right here is supposed to be two kidneys side by side, but it looks more like a, a butterfly, you know, because I'm in kidney failure and I'm on dialysis, so that's what this is for. And the word live, I put it on there because it actually has two meaning. It, symbol, it symbolizes life, me living with these conditions, heart and kidney failure. But it also means, symbolizes liver failure, which I'm now in liver failure that I just found out about. This right here in the, in the, the middle box, the green ribbon stands for organ donation awareness. And this right here is a blue gift with purple wrap. It looks dark blue, but it symbolizes gifts. It, what it is, is I'm giving the gift by sharing my transplant story with the nation and, you know, with everyone. I share my gift with you and my knowledge with you in order to educate those that are not quite aware of 
organ donation and their facts and you know stuff and the word give is basically I give it to you I give you information I, I was given the gift of life that's what this is for the gift the gift of life in this first dot this is the, the very last panel in my painting the first dot symbolizes me the blue dot because basically I was born blue you know because I was very ill and I have three little lines one two three running under my dots and there's one two three more dots what it is is I educated three people and told them about organ donation so they went and they educated three more people to also go sign and sign up to be an organ donor and they you know so basically the it started off with me to three people to three more people to one more people person on and on and on and on and the word love <coughs> I feel as if I can trend you know if I can educate those and share just with one person and they share with someone else I'm sharing my love for organ donation and that's what the word love means and yes I know it looks like a little fifth grader did it but you know I did it so anyway <laughs> I'm gonna let you go um there's talk about me going home tomorrow which I'm not sure dialysis goes like it's supposed to then I should be able to go home tomorrow so tomorrow when I do my video diary I should be doing the video diary from home so I guess I'll talk to you guys later I'm going to get in bed I'm going to try to get me a good night's sleep and I'll talk to you all later bye